Yo, how's it going guys? Today I wanted to have a sit down video and express myself in a manner that could come off hypocritical and also attack other people. Uh, that's why I start the video with those words. I really want to preface in this video that I'm not trying to attack anybody and I'm not trying to come at anyone. I post leaks just like several other content creators. Maybe I'm not as big as them and maybe I don't post out the same quality as videos of them. But I just want to preface that before I say anything else in this video going forward. But without further ado, let's get right into this video. This is going to be a normal sit down video. This isn't going to be some big words or me going into detail about every little thing in Resident Evil 4 remake that's coming out in 2023 in march um this happens to be a leak that's been surfacing for quite a while now but um we've gotten several leaks and that pertains to krauser uh krauser is a spoiler alert uh he's a boss fight and a boss later in resident evil 4 once you reach the island section of the game now his character's not built up during the main part of the game, not in the castle, not in the village, once you reach the island, the end game, that's pretty much when he appears. He comes alongside Ada because Ada is there to get the Lost Plaga sample and he's there to help assist with that. And he also captured the president's daughter, Ashley Graham, and he's also there to kill Leon. Now, before we do continue on, Krauser also appears in another game that pretty much builds him up from there. Now, I have not played the other game, but I know he appears and his story continues in Resident Evil 4. Now, that other game that he appears in is supposed to be a spin-off. It's a spin-off, but it's still considered canon. Krauser uh, eventually meets Leon in the game and he starts fighting, you know, and Krauser dies, you know, his story ends. But continuing forward, Krauser is supposedly cut from the main game of uh, Resident Evil 4 Remake 2023, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to say Resident Evil 4 from now on, but he is cut, and the reason being, his story doesn't make sense. Now, a lot of I've seen a lot of YouTube videos, I've seen quite a bit of people discussing their frustration with this, and maybe my opinion is different. I really don't care. Now, this could be several reasons but i'll give you my honest thoughts which are pretty simple i just don't think krauser's character really fits the narrative of resident Evil 4 but he stole the daughter's uh, the president's daughter but i mean come on bro anybody else could steal the president's daughter i mean they send leon one secret agent working for the u.s government to go capture the president's daughter from los illuminados like come on come on that, that, the plot alone doesn't even make sense <laughs> like come on there's so many plot holes with this but um i don't think it really matters i mean it, it would f seem really dumb because i mean in further media um continue forward i think it's mentioned resident Evil 5 resident Evil 6 and even the movies that uh krauser was one of the people or not if not the person who stole Ashley and captured her and that's why she's in that village in the beginning of the church but going forward again what I'm trying to say is does he, does he really need to be in it maybe he can fit into mercenaries but I do think for the sake of the story I think he should be in now again I'm being a little contradictive here and I'm saying this in like the best way possible that you know at, at one point this kind of doesn't make sense like this this doesn't equal what we're saying you know and i understand that i really really do understand that you know i'm kind of contradicting myself i'm kind of pointing myself out as a hypocrite but you know we're getting reports that he's not going to be in the game it reports that we are going to get him in the game like it i don't know man like this is where it comes into play that I think leaks are kind of just ruining Resident Evil 4 because I don't want to get people's hopes and expectations up. I just want to keep everybody in the loop of Resident Evil news, you know? And I love making content on Resident Evil. It's been a passion of mine for a while, even though I do not upload at several moments, my passion has been there. And I don't know, man, it, it just sucks because I hate getting people's expectations up 
and it sucks because you know krauser to a lot of people is probably one of the most memorable moments in the game and i mean i understand that you know i really do genuinely understand that because a lot of people consider this game to be one of the maybe if not the greatest resident evil 4 to them and i agree with that resident evil 4 made a lot of technical and freaking story boundaries for me i love the story maybe it does have a little bit of contradictions and plot holes for me and maybe i don't agree with some of the things like Krauser, right i don't care but a lot of people do and i think that's where it comes really up to capcom is it really worth taking out Krauser just for the sake of his story not making sense i mean we already know resident evil 4 it's going to be different, man. Resident Evil 4 is going to be a lot different. I mean, new controls, new graphics. It's going to be on the RE engine, which, if you don't know, the RE engine is just insane, man. It's, it's just it's crazy. But, I mean, it's a lot, man. It's a lot that we're getting with Resident Evil 4. Not only that, we're getting Resident Evil 8 DLC. We're also getting Reavers. I mean, it's a lot, man. It's a lot of content that we're going to be receiving for Resident Evil. I mean, you know. But... <sighs> I don't know, I, I mean, in, in the hands of Capcom, I know they're capable of turning this around, but this is where I come up to you guys. Does, does Krauser really affect the game for you guys or not? I mean, for me personally, not. But um, that's going to have to wrap up today's video, guys. I genuinely do hope you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.